can't talk while I'm on duty. If you aren't Brotherhood, you're nothing. Calm down. Someday, super mutants kill everything. Thank you, civilian. Hey there. This area is under our protection. Military business only. <clears throat> Back off, civilian. Can't talk while I'm on duty. If you aren't Brotherhood, you're nothing. Military business only. Back off, civilian. If you aren't Brotherhood, you're nothing. <clears throat> Out of my way, Wastelander. Can't talk while I'm on duty.
Hey, see that big blimp? What's the Brotherhood of Steel? Why are they here? Excuse me. God, even the sky isn't safe. Did you see that blimp thing? The Brotherhood of Steel? Who are they? Don't walk outside the wall undefended. High quality protection for Find sale. City surplus, everything you need. I'm Nikki. I'm just asking for your opinion. Be a great quote. He's my client, Piper. Why don't you learn not to snoop on a man's private affairs? Well, well, speak of the devil. You're back. And not with your son. What happened? Where do you want me to start? The part where Kellogg turned out to be working for the Institute? Or the part where he told me they have Sean? The Institute? Oh, boy. I'm sorry, friend. Truly. That makes things considerably more complicated. He ain't kidding. Heck, Nick's a synth, and even he doesn't know how to get in. No synth does. Security protocols trip those memories out. You don't know anything, Nick? I woke up in a junk pile ages ago. Just another discarded prototype. The Institute hasn't come calling since. I'm sorry. I've been investigating these creeps for over a year now. <laughs> True enough. Sometimes they snap. Where the Institute actually. Exactly. Whatever. Huh. Whatever you're thinking, it doesn't matter. He's dead. Yeah. Figures the Institute's only man on the outside wouldn't be the type to be taken alive. So, a uh, murderer... So, what now? Gets his brains blown out. You're talking crazy here, Nick. Look, there's a place in Good Neighbor Co Ugh. Anyone could get a dead brain to sing. <laughs> Who's this Dr. Romari? I'll let her give you her life story in person. Let's stay focused. Hmm. I guess we're gonna need a piece of Kellogg's brain. Jesus, Nick! <laughs> I know it's grisly, but what... What exactly do we need, Nick? Kellogg's brain. It's a long shot, but Dr. Romari just might be able to... get it jump-started. See what the old Merc knew. Nick. Where's your son? What happened? Civilization. You were right, Nick. Kellogg did have my son. But that wasn't all. He was working with the Institute. He... He gave them Sean. The Institute? I'm sorry, friend. He ain't kidding. No synth does. Ugh. I need to find a way. I've been investigating these creeps for over a year now. Ugh. True enough. <laughs> Sometimes they snap. Ugh. Where the Institute acts. Exactly. Enough. Kellogg. Man like that would have had access. In and out. Yeah, but I'm guessing he wasn't the surrender and talk type.
He's dead, Nick. So, a murderer and a kidnapper gets his brains blown out by... He wasn't gonna talk. Gets his brains blown out. <sighs> You're talking crazy here, Nick. Look, there's a place in Good Neighbor... If anyone could get... I hope you're right, Nick. Let's see. I got... Jesus, Nick! I know it's grisly, but... Whatever. You're listening to, uh... Uh, Diamond City Radio. Hey, Valentine. Where's your son? What happened? Keep a-knocking by... Louis this George is your Nick. fault, Nick. You had me running all over the place while Kellogg was busy handing Sean over to the Institute. The Institute? I'm sorry, friend. He ain't kidding. No synth does. Ugh. Bullshit. You're a synth, Valentine. Tell me what you know. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Calm down, Blue. It's all right. The man's clearly upset. Look, Piper's right. Sad thing is, I have no idea. I've been investigating these creeps for over a year now. <laughs> True enough. Sometimes they snatch people in the middle of the night. And sometimes they leave old synths behind to remind us that they're out there. But to this day, there's one thing nobody really knows. Where the Institute actually is. Or how to get in. Exactly. Kellogg. Ugh. What about him? He had to have a way in and... Ugh. Yeah. Any other ideas, Nick? That's what I thought. He's dead. So, uh... Doesn't matter what he knew. I'd kill him again in a heartbeat. Gets his brains blown out. You're talking crazy here, Nick. Look, there's a place... If anyone could... There's no way that could ever work. <clears throat> Jesus, Nick! Gross! Seriously? I know it's grisly, but what choice do we have? Got no leads, nothing. That old Merc's brain just might have all the secrets we need to know. Hey, Valentine. Where's your son? What happened? You were right, Nick. Kellogg did have my son. But that wasn't all. He was working with the Institute. He gave them Sean. The Institute? Oh, boy. I'm sorry, friend. Truly. That makes... He ain't kidding. Heck, Nick's a synth, and even he doesn't know how to get in. No synth does. Bullshit. You're a synth, Valentine. Tell me what you know. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Calm down, Blue. It's all right. The man's clearly upset. Look, Piper's right. Sad thing is, I have no idea. I've been investigating these creeps for over a year now. True enough. Sometimes they... Where the Institute actually is. Exactly. Kellogg. What about him? He had to have a way in and out. Am I right in thinking he's not available for a chin wag? Bastards in hell. Where he belongs. So, a um, murderer... He wasn't gonna talk. Even if I had a way of bringing him in alive. Gets his brains blown out. Huh. His brains. You're talking crazy here, Nick. Look, there's a place in Good Neighbor called the Memory Den. If anyone could get a dead brain to sing... Hey, Piper. We'll talk more once I get settled in. I gotta check a few things first. We'll talk later. I gotta check a few things first. 
We'll talk later. We'll talk more once I get settled in. Nick. Where's your son? What happened? I... I didn't make it in time. Kellogg was working with the Institute, and he... He gave them Sean. The Institute? Oh, boy. I'm sorry, friend. Truly. That makes things considerably more complicated. He ain't kidding. Heck, Nick's a synth, and even he doesn't know how to get in. No synth does. Security protocols strip those memories out. No, oh, Mr. Metal for Hands doesn't know how to get back to the factory. No, I skipped that part of the orientation film while they were busy pulling me apart and putting me back together again. Look, the sad thing is... I have no idea. I've been investigating these creeps for over a year now. <laughs> the Commonwealth's boogeyman. Feared and hated by everyone. True enough. Sometimes they snatch people in the middle of the night. And sometimes they leave old synths behind to remind us that they're out there. But to this day, there's one thing nobody really knows. Where the Institute actually is. Or how to get in. Exactly. But there's one person who has to know, right? The guy who just handed them Sean. Kellogg. Huh. You read my mind. He had to have a way in and out. Yeah, but something tells me he's not gonna drop by for a chat and coffee. We can talk to him. Feel like holding a seance? <laughs> a literal dead end, huh? So, a murderer and a kidnapper gets his brains blown out by an avenging parent. Huh. Be a great ending if we didn't still have the biggest mystery in the Commonwealth to solve. You're standing there with your jaw hanging out. Say something. I was so blinded by anger. I just wanted him dead. Now look what I've done. Gets his brains blown out. Huh. His brains. You know, we may not need the man at all. You're talking crazy here, Nick. Got a fault in the old subroutines? Look, there's a place in Good Neighbor called the Memory Den. Relive the past moments in your mind as clear as the day they happened. If anyone could get a dead brain to sing, it'll be Dr. Amari, the mind behind the memories. <laughs> I don't know, Nick. That seems a little out there. You're talking to a synth. I am a little out there. Just stay with me on this. Let's see, I guess we're gonna need a piece of Kellogg's brain. Enough gray matter to bring to Omari and find out if this is going to work. Jesus, Nick. Gross. Seriously? I know it's grisly, but what choice do we have? We got no leads. Nothing. That old Merc's brain just might have all the secrets we need to know. I'm gonna need a really sharp ice cream scoop. I'm sure you'll manage. Whether we're riding this crazy brain train or not, we can't all go running across the Commonwealth, so... Who's coming with you? I have to go to the memory den either way, if I'm gonna introduce you to Omari. But if you want to head there together, just say so. Anything else you can tell me about the memory den? It's in Good Neighbor, a little slice of trouble northeast of ways. The memory den ain't just a fancy name, it's literal. A lot of people give up all their caps just to relive the good parts of their lives. Over and over. But not us. We're gonna try to dive deep into someone else's mind. 
I can meet you there, or we can head out together. I already have someone with me. I'll meet you there, Nick. All right. See you at the den. Don't worry. We're gonna get your boy back. Just a few more steps. Uh, well, you two are out. I'm gonna do some more research. I'll be at the public if you need me. And by the way, at some point, you owe me an interview. I want to hear how this whole story got started. And now, uh, a word or several from our sponsors. Choice Chops! Anything Once I can do, you, know, you just meat. say the word. Just me. Stop asking about anything else. What time is it? Why, it's time for a whole lot of shaking. <laughs> stays hidden forever. At least, not if I have my say. <sighs> Let me know if there's anything I can do to lighten the load. See what you got. Here you Junk is useless. Most folks are just looking for a hand. All we gotta do is offer. You hear about that settlement? Covenant? Nice. Real clean. Strict entrance requirements, though. Dad says outside to shoot people. Nick. Time to hit the road? You interested in traveling together? Sure. Could be fun. Not now. Well, I'll be around if you change your mind. 